like so gonna leave my hair like this. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. Everybody knows it. Yep, that's 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 that's. Everybody knows it. Yep. All right, we're just gonna get right into this video. This is gonna be a two-part video. The first part is where I'm showing you how to make this Ayurvedic oil. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna be doing a challenge with my subscribers. I'm gonna be doing a hair growth and edge growth challenge. And um, that's gonna start shortly. This is not the video for it. This is just the video to show you how I prepare my oil because I just want you guys to start getting your herbs, all your ingredients together, because I use a lot in this oil. I use Ayurvedic herbs, I use seaweed, um, I use extracts, I use leaves, and the way that I prepare this oil is the native way. So I don't just warm up oil and throw the herbs in there. Since I'm doing their regime, I wanna just make sure that the potency is accurate for the maximum effect for this oil. So that's why I wanted just to prepare it like they do. Uh, it's a very tedious, patient, and time-consuming process. Altogether, this probably takes about six to eight hours, and that does not include soaking your herbs, that does not include letting your formula sit overnight. So, um, yeah, I don't want you to be intimidated though. I just want you to grab a bag of popcorn and just enjoy this video. This video is just for informational purposes and also just to familiarize yourself with the entire process and last but not least, to start gathering your herbs together. I'm gonna have a list in the description box below so you can just kind of get acquainted with what I'm using in this formula. Now, this whole thing was snatched. Like, I was bald. You see this, this line right here? That is where my hairline started. I had no baby hair. This complete part was bald. You can actually see one of my thumbnails. That's an actually real picture of my hairline. Like, that's actually a real picture of my hairline. So I was, I was done. Like you can actually see my scalp all up and down here. Now my hair is growing back fuller and thicker. I'm super excited. My eyebrows are thicker. Um, I, like I said, I use it on my lashes. I don't wear falsies anymore. I don't wear extensions anymore. That pretty much destroyed and ripped out my natural long lashes because I naturally have long lashes. And I was bald, completely bald because of them. I started using this oil and now my lashes are growing back again. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video with any of your friends that you want to join this challenge. Because I want to have about a thousand to two thousand people doing the challenge with me. I'm going to show you everything. I just want you to grab your favorite food, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. The only reason why I'm showing you this now is for you to familiarize yourself with the process. So you're not intimidated you can get your herbs together you can keep watching this video until we start this challenge just to you know and trust me i break down every step i tell you what you should be looking for i tell you if you know you're going down the right direction i tell you just different indications like different points in the process that you should be checking for so um don't be intimidated please the first time i started doing it i burnt my legs because I wasn't doing it right, I was rushing. So again, this is part one of the video. This is actually creating the oil. And part two is gonna be showing you how I apply the oil. I think that's about it, I think I'm rambling right now. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna start with is just a couple of teaspoons of, I'm sorry, a couple of tablespoons of Bidengaraj and Alma. Those are gonna be the two Ayurvedic herbs that I'm gonna be using. I'm also gonna be using Nopal, which is a cactus. This has very similar properties to aloe vera. I'm also gonna be using iris sea moss. Okay, so for Bringash, this is considered the king of herbs when it comes to hair growth because of its ability to rejuvenate and nourish the hair. If you use this herb on a regular basis, it's definitely gonna promote hair growth. It helps dramatically with alopecia. Some of the natives say that it cures it, and a lot of them use it in their formula when it comes to making hair oils. Amla is another very powerful herb that the natives use for fast and strong hair growth. This Indian gooseberry is filled with powerful antioxidants. So that's another ingredient that we're using in this mix. Now, nopal is a cactus and it has very similar qualities to aloe vera, but I like this better than aloe vera because of its nutritional benefits. If you have an iron deficiency, that can actually encourage hair loss. So nopal is also very rich in iron, as well as amino acids. And also, another little thing about Nepal. Nepal does have double the amount of fatty acids, fiber, and protein as argan oil. So, for all my argan oil users, Nepal might be a better choice for you. Now, Irish sea moss is one of my favorites. This sea moss has probably like a little over 
90 of the 100 and something minerals you need for your body. So I decided to put it in my hair oil. Uh, this has iron, calcium, sulfur, um, selenium, folate, magnesium, potassium, like the list goes on with this seaweed. Okay, so let's start the mixing. I took a couple of tablespoons of each ingredient and put it in this plastic container. I also took a few teaspoons of all these ingredients and put it in a separate container. You're gonna need the smaller portion for the second phase of making this oil. We are currently doing the first phase and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some boiling hot water and some dried hibiscus flowers. So what we're doing right now is we're starting to pull the benefits and all the properties out of these flowers. You're gonna let that soak for about two hours. After it's finished on soaking, you're gonna pour it back into a stainless steel pot and bring that to a boil. Now add about three or four cups of water to this mix. So while this is coming to a boil, I'm gonna get my oil ready. This is gonna be a part of the last phase, so I'm just gonna prepare that. It is half Jamaican black castor oil and half organic extra virgin olive oil. So my hibiscus flowers are looking good right now. It's coming to a nice boil. And now that it's at a boil, I'm gonna turn the temperature down to low because I do not wanna burn the flowers and I don't wanna burn my herbs either. Now this is a very, very, very crucial step, okay? Because once you burn your herbs, it, it's, it's not gonna serve its purpose. So if you start smelling any type of burning, you're probably gonna have to start all over. So just be careful. I'd rather you guys be patient than rush this whole process because I've burned so many herbs before I started to get this right. How I'm pouring in the herbs is also another crucial step. You wanna stir constantly as you're pouring it in. You don't want any of the herbs to stick on the bottom or the side of the uh, stainless steel pot. So by moving the mixture, it's gonna prevent that from happening. So just stir slowly and constantly. You're gonna start noticing the difference in texture. First, it's very watery, but as it starts to heat and as the herbs start to release its extracts and all of its properties, it's gonna take on the same consistency as melted chocolate. Okay, so while this is mixing, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about the herbs that I'm using. Make sure you get your herbs from an excellent source. I get my herbs from two local stores, one regular herb store and another Indian store. They are organic, and I already know how they source their herbs. I already know how they prepare it. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing all the Ayurvedic herbs, the cactus, um, the sea moss, and the rest of the other stuff. And as far as this mixture, at this stage, which is only the first stage, you wanna start smelling the aroma of the mixture. Mine smells like sweet plantains. <laughs> I'm trying not to taste this because I know it's gonna be super bitter. But at this stage, you are starting to smell the aroma of the mixture. If you, like I said, start smelling any type of burning, I would suggest starting all over because you don't want burnt <laughs> herbs on your scalp. They do not have any more of its properties, so it does not serve its purpose at that point. So right now I'm just filtering the mixture. I'm gonna first filter it with a strainer and then I'm gonna pour it in a cheesecloth. You should have about two cups of this when you're done. If you have less than that, you probably let too much water evaporate. So just add some water until it's about two cups full. Okay, so now for the paste. Okay, so you know the powder that we had left over on the side? I'm just gonna add a little bit of the liquid that I just made into that powder. Now, you could use coconut milk if you want. You could use just warm water. You could use aloe vera juice. Whatever liquid that suits your hair. I just wanted this formula to be very consistent, so that's why I used the liquid from the first phase. I'm sorry, I'm like drinking a CMOS shake right now, <laughs> trying to get this down. So remember when I mixed together Jamaica black castor oil and organic extra virgin olive oil? This is the stage that we're gonna be using it in. And I'm just gonna bring this oil to a boil. I know you guys have kids, husbands, a life, <laughs> school, work. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. When I first started doing this, how many times I burnt myself, you would never believe. Like, I still have the burn marks. Like, I I wish I could, I, I should have showed it on camera earlier. So just to help out, I might be making super large batches of this and selling them online within the next week or two. So if you guys are interested, I left the link in the description box down below that you can click to join the mailing list. That will let me know that you're interested in a fresh batch of this oil. This will give me a head count so I know how much to make. If you just wanna just get this in the mail, just click the link in the description box. It is cnbysedora.com. CN stands for Cheveux Noir. That is French for black hair. So if you're interested, sign up below. And also let me know in the comment box 
that you did sign up. I just need a head count um, and see how much I need to make. But I will be adding a few more goodies into the mixture. I'm gonna be adding slippery elm, I'm gonna be adding marshmallow root. I'm gonna be boiling some aloe vera plant pieces into the mixture and a few other conditioning herbs, plants, and flowers. So you're gonna have a, a little extra with this oil. Okay, so now that the oil has came to a slight boil, I turned it down a bit because again, you don't want to be burning any of the herbs. I added my paste, now I'm adding the liquid as well, and I'm just gonna continue stirring all that. Make sure to concentrate on breaking up the paste while you're stirring the mixture at the same time. This is gonna help it dissolve in the oil. This is the longest part of this process. This is gonna take you probably like an hour to an hour and a half and you have to continue stirring for the entire hour, two hour and a half. So grab a chair and sit down by your stove because this is the longest part of this. Okay, since we have the water in, now it's safe to boil this. I'm just gonna bring it to a nice soft boil, nothing crazy, because you want the water inside this mixture to evaporate. I consider this a very soft boil. It might look crazy, but look at what I have it at. I have it on low. So I'm making sure that I'm preserving the herbs by keeping the temperature on low and also constantly turning this mixture. Now again, this is the native traditional Indian way of preparing Ayurvedic herbs and I, I think I understand the concept. The whole reason of doing the entire process is to make sure that you do not burn the herbs and that you're preserving the properties of the herbs. It seems like you are drawing out the properties and the extracts of the herb and then evaporating the water. So then all that's left are the extracts of the herbs properly infused in oil. And that's gonna ensure that the oil's potency is at its max. When there are bubbles forming in your mixture, that is an indication that there is still water present. So you guys can see throughout this video, the bubbles have died down into a fizz. That means most of the water has been evaporated. And uh, I'm just gonna continue stirring at this point. Now you can start seeing the color of the oil. That's because the oil is ready. All the water has been evaporated. That is one of the indications. Another way that you can test that the oil is ready is by taking some of the paste that is on the bottom of this mixture and lighting it. If you don't hear any crackling, that means that there's no more water present. Because remember, fire hits water, it starts to crackle. So if you don't hear that, then I am happy to say your oil is finally ready. So now I'm just gonna take this oil, uh, make sure I measure it just to see if it's accurate. And it's still 16 ounces, which is how much oil I actually used from the very beginning. So that's how I know, this is another indication, that all the water has evaporated. So I'm not gonna strain the oil yet. I'm gonna let this sit overnight just for additional infusion. And this is how it's looking the next day. After I strain it, I'm gonna add a little bit more sea moss. So that's why the oil took a more greenish, muddy <laughs> greenish color. That's because of the sea moss. And I added the soaked hibiscus flowers from yesterday into the mix as well. And this is the end product. Again, if you wanna join the mailing list, the link is in the description box, that's cnbysedora.com, or you can simply just click the link right on the top right hand corner of this video. Join the mailing list if you want a fresh batch of this oil. I'm gonna be making super large batches within the next week or two, so I can't wait to start the challenge. I hope you guys are excited. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Again, remember part two is coming up, so definitely turn on notifications. Okay, I'll see you later guys, peace.